Well, well, we have the Baltimore Ravens given nine and a half points to the Houston Texans. Uh, you know, all these games, honestly, this is where football gets really good because I, I might actually watch some games this week. I don't know. But uh, all these games, let's just start out, could go either way. But let's get to this one. Nine and a half points they're giving the Texans. Now, I know the Texans, listen, I love the underdog. I'm always like that. You guys know how I am. But I look at the Texans last week. If they play like they did against the Browns, the Ravens are going to have a problem. Now, let's not make no mistake about it. The Cleveland Browns were banged up pretty good. I mean, it doesn't take anything away how C.J. Stroud played, but the Browns were banged up. So, you take that in consideration, and now you have the Baltimore Ravens, and I know everybody's drinking the Baltimore Raven Kool-Aid, but I'm just pointing out a fact here, guys. Lamar Jackson has done great, done phenomenal, but he's done this before. This is also Lamar Jackson in the playoffs, who, by the way, coming in this game only has one win. So, one win in his career. So, is Lamar going to shit the bed in the playoffs? I think Lamar knows that if he loses this game, I think, uh, well, at least to my opinion, you got to move on from him. Um, so, nine and a half points. I wanted to take the Texans outright, but I think that's just too much. I think C.J. Stroud is going to come down to earth. He still is a rookie quarterback. Upcoming, no doubt about it. But Baltimore has a lot to prove. Or at least Lamar Jackson feels like he has to. But I think it's going to be closer to 9.5. I like the Texans. The Texans are going to keep this closer than people think. And... I think the Ravens will get it done at home because Lamar Jackson is on the hot seat. I, do, I know he does good in the regular season, but you know what? So does Dak Prescott, and look where he's at. So, let's just see. Let's see how Lamar does on the big stage. But I like the Ravens outright. I like the Texans with the points. San Francisco given 9.5 to the Packers. Here's another line I really don't agree with. The 49ers are on a roll. No doubt about it. But sometimes that bye week could uh, bite you in the ass. Green Bay played phenomenal last week. But let's be honest about it. They were lucky they played the Cowboys. <coughs> you know. So I take that in consideration too. Um, I think the Packers are also going to cover... But I don't think they're going to win. Jordan Love, there again, an upcoming quarterback. But San Fran's just too strong. And, I, and I'm not saying it's impossible. After last week, anything's possible. But I don't see San Fran dropping at home. I just don't. If this was in Lambeau Field, there could be a strong possibility of the upset. But there, here again... I think Sam Fran is going to humble Jordan Love. And I know they're riding a pink cloud. Same with the Texans. But I think both these teams are going to come back to earth and realize that the Sam Fran and Baltimore are just a better team. So, I like the Packers though with the points. But Sam Fran's going to win. And now, Detroit giving 6.5 to the Buccaneers. I'll tell you what, Tampa Bay flat out shocked me. I did not see that coming. I mean, I kind of seen where Philadelphia could have lose because they were on a downhill slide. They were in a funk, but not the ass kicking they gave them. I mean, that surprised me. So that being said, Detroit's going to have their hands full of Tampa Bay. And they played each other earlier in the season, I believe. And Detroit won, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But... Baker Mayfield looks unbelievable right now. He looked unbelievable in that Philadelphia Eagles game. He plays like that. I think Tampa Bay's got a really strong shot at, at the upset here. But 
you know, Lions, congratulations. You got over the hurdle. You're no longer the, you, you were the longest drought next to the Bengals. But the Bengals, obviously, you know, they took care of that. Now you guys get your first playoff win. You're over the hump. You guys kind of got lucky to win last week, but you got it done. It's not how you start, it's how you finish, and you finished. I think Tampa Bay is going to cover the six and a half points. And honestly, this this could go either way. I think this is going to be a great, all these games are going to be great games. But I like Detroit with the edge at home. I just think Ford Field right now is rocking. <clears throat> and I think Detroit, oh man, isn't it crazy? That If my picks are right, that means it's going to be Detroit and San Fran in the conference championship game. Who would have thought that? So I'm taking Detroit to win. Tampa Bay will cover. And finally, we have the Buffalo Bills giving two and a half to the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm kind of surprised by this because Kansas City has Buffalo's number, no doubt. But I know Kansas City won last week, and I don't hate the Chiefs. I really don't. A lot of people think I'm a Chiefs hater. I'm not. You know, the Chiefs are in a dynasty right now. Every team goes through it. Well, unless you're a Bengals fan. But every team goes through a dynasty, and the Kansas City Chiefs are going through a dynasty. But I'm sorry. I know they look good against Miami. But leading up to that, Kansas City has not looked really good this season. I mean, there's been a lot more games where they looked mediocre than they looked good. But last week, they got it done. They did good. I'm going for the underdog. Even though they're favored, which surprises me, you feel like Buffalo is still the underdog. But I like Buffalo at home. I think this time around, they finally get it done. And I think Josh Allen gets it done. Now, Buffalo did win last week, but yeah, they played Pittsburgh. So, what's that saying? It's like playing Dallas. But anyway, there you have it, guys. I'm taking all the home teams this week, which I'm bound to determine I'm probably going to get one of these wrong. I can just see it. But they're going to be good games. And uh, if you're a fan of these teams, let's hope for some good football and no referee bullshit, please. I know that's asking a lot, but I, guys, I'm telling you, this is where this shit's going to surface. If it's going to surf, well, it already has surface, but it's really going to surface now. There you have it. All the home teams, and uh, let's hope for some good football.